Hello, my. I I came to before I came to the village. I had lost my children. I did not know I had a mental illness. And when I came to the village, well, okay, let me go back before the village. I, I would be the person that you would see sitting on a sidewalk for two or three days because I, in my mind, that was my safe place. You could also compare it with somebody that stares at the sun all day long. I didn't know how to even go to the restroom without trying to consciously think. I had to make sure that I, un, I would think, unzip your pants, Betty, and go through the procedure like that. I was like a mess. And then I found the village, and the village has been such an asset to me. First, they had, I had to go through the diagnosis, and it wasn't easy for them because I fought them every step of the way because I didn't understand what, what it was like to be helped in my lifetime. And I've been with the village quite some time now, and I've seen them help, help the enormous amount of people for myself right now. I have, I have secure housing, and I have a stable environment and a safe environment. And the village is, is also a social network for myself because where I wasn't accepted from people on the streets or I would be like talked about behind my back, that there's a network of people here that understand what it's like to be mentally ill. And, and there's nothing worse. I used to have the philosophy that I think people with mental illness should have the right to have a youth, be euthanized for the fact that we're victims of, of people out on the streets and our neighbors and so forth because they could see where they could take advantage of us and we're easy prey. Mm -hmm. So uh, I come like a 360 and now I'm looking at ways that I can help and volunteer in ways and a lot, we have a lot of members that, that as we're getting better we volunteer our time so we don't need you to take our, our monies away from us because there's a massive amount of people that I see on the streets that do have mental illness that I tell them to go to the village because that's the only sanctuary that I've known in my entire life because I come from such a dysfunctional family. Since being at the village, I've been also diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I'm on a regimented med medical taking now. And whenever I feel insecure or if I feel overwhelmed, I can call the village and there's somebody there that's gonna listen and help me resolve, whether it's within my own thinking or collective amount of th minds coming together to, and to benefit me. And I'm sorry for the stammering, but this kind of thing makes me nervous. I, um, be before I came to the village, I was um, homeless for a couple years, sleeping at the beach. And um, after that, um, I met someone at the beach that was from the village. And I was having um, psychiatric um, problems and stuff. And um, my friend was trying to get me to come down to the village for like a year, but first I went to Long Beach Mental Health, but um, then I finally came down to the village and um, they started me on my medication and it helped me a lot because I can cope with society more. And uh, also um, they got me housing and they also got me um, health care and they got me off the streets and they also, um, they're just there, there for me being a friend because without the village, I don't know where I would be. I would, I would just be a, a lost soul just walking the beach and walking the streets, you know. Uh, and basically, I, I would probably be dead by now. Hi, I'd like to tell you how I came to the village. First, I was in La Casa and a number of board and care homes and also hospitals. I would just like to let you know that the village has been wonderful to me. I've learned so much in working here at the Deli Mart and in the kitchen. And I just thank God that I am alive today and I wanted to let y'all know that life goes on after the village. The village is just a starting point for each and every person that's here. We get to be ourselves. We take the medication like we're supposed to take it. The doctors help us. The workers help us in different different degrees in, in knowing about recovery. We have the computers. We have we have working out um, out of the village, and we also have so many things that's available to us. And I just want to let you know this is the best. And coming to the village has changed my life in a hundred percent. Before I got on my right medications, I was uh, hospitalized six times in the psychiatric ward. I was down on my right meds. I could not do my financial, uh, handle my financial life. 
Um, I had to get in under money and med management at the village. Um, I have a psychiatrist who listens to me, and I'm, I'm on my right meds. I've been coming here for six years. I graduate in June and going over to the Wellness Center. It has given me a new lease on life. I have housing because of the village. I owe everything to the village for getting my life in on track and in balance and stabilized. And um, I have a great medical doctor. I have um, two medical conditions. One is life-threatening. I have major depression, anxiety, and insomnia. These are a lot of meds um, to take, but I am finally stabilized in all areas of my life because of the village and, and taking my meds as prescribed. And um, I only have nothing but great things to say about the village, and Lord knows where I would be without the village. Um, I re really would hate to think of decomposing like that and being homeless. Um, uh, it would, it, I don't even want to think about what would have happened to me without the village.